Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had an awful night's sleep, but a really, a really beautiful mother's time because my daughter has a fever and she was having like shivers. It was really scary last night. Uh, so I took care of her and I didn't get much sleep, but uh, I think it's so beautiful to do that. I think the bond you build with your children when you do it, it's stronger than anything else. Um, so I'm very grateful that I was home, that I could take care of her. I was just telling my patrons that I was really annoyed with my husband because <laughs> uh, she's home from preschool today and uh, I have loads of things to do. And, and I just recorded like half the class <laughs> and um, she came and she was like standing outside the door and crying and she didn't do anything. And uh, now I had to start over. So I'm a little bit angry with him at the moment. <laughs> but I guess I was just telling my patrons that I probably will be angry with him for other things coming too. So I was just getting used to it. I'm very, very grateful that I'm going to meet a friend of mine uh, that I haven't seen. I think it's in 13 years since I saw him, like at least 12 and a half years. Um, but I, yeah, I really can't wait. He's magical. I, I uh, met him the first time when I was, I think, 17. And uh, he's a poet, he's amazing. And he lives in Toronto. Um, and he's like really, you know, no social media. He's not really in contact with anyone when he's away. So I really cannot wait to see him in live, in flesh. Um, I'm super excited to do that. Um, I'm also very grateful for my sobriety um, and that's the beauty with him because he introduced me to a, a, an ex-boyfriend of mine who was sober and I don't know if I would have been sober if it wasn't for that guy who did the 12-step on me 13 years ago and um, it took me some time to get here. <laughs> But, you know, three years later, I finally got sober and uh, I am forever grateful to that guy. And also to my friend, of course, for the introduction. Uh, but I'm very grateful to my friend for many other things, too. Oh, I'm also very, very grateful for um, being home um, and our beautiful family. And, uh, And you know, little Gemma is growing so fast. It's uh, it's really kind of like even a week. It feels like a long time being away from her because so much happens. Now she can say many more words, and she's much more talkative, and she's like putting you know sentences together. And um, yeah, I feel like every moment when you're not observant, you're missing something because it's so quick with her at the moment. So I'm very grateful to be back home, although. It's, absolutely magical to be away and um and to just sleep and uh and dance in a little bit with myself now let's do some yoga get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up close your eyes focus on the area between your eyebrows the third eye looking in We're gonna start taking control of our breath on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine.
We're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard. Inhale to start. We're gonna do a deep breath, inhale, exhale back down. Which direction? Beautiful. We're going to come to all our fours and do the cat and cow. Place your hands straight underneath your shoulders, place your knees straight underneath your hips. On the inhalation, come forward with your belly, look how cool you can see. On the exhalation, come down through that little neck and shoulder. the child's pose. forward with your hands, step that big one, and to come up, we're gonna come down on our butt. Place, place your right foot on your uh, left thigh, come up with both your arms, and exit bend from your hip forward.
so much dog hairs. That's the only negative thing with Penny ever, that she's like loses so much hair. Otherwise she's just magical. I mean, I think she's still magical, but she does lose a lot of hair. Inhale, come up and come back into this position. Place your hands on your shoulders. On the inhalation, come to your left. On the exhalation, to the middle. Inhale, two. Now we're gonna finish with a short meditation. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows. The third eye looking at the right. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Gently place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to stop. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Place your palms to your forehead for you to think good thoughts through the day, to your mouth for you to speak the truth, and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so much for today. Thank you. I love you guys. Bye.